do you want to use the latest AI tools locally on your PC, such as Stable Diffusion XL via Automatic 11.11 or Comfy UI, but you don't want to go through lengthy tutorials to install them, where you have to deal with Command Window and Python, then I got some good news for you, because now it's possible to install the most popular AI tools with just one click, actually three clicks, and through a nice and simple user interface. Pinocchio is an AI browser, or in other words, it's a front end to do exactly that. Besides the two popular Stable Diffusion user interfaces, you can for example install AI tools for using uncensored chatbots locally or for generating music and sound effects. In this video, besides installing Pinocchio, we'll also install Automatic 11.11 and Comfy UI, both with the SDXL model, and we'll also have a brief look at how to use the tools with SDXL. This is only going to cover the absolute basics so that you can get started. So first, we open the URL from the video description, click on Download, and select the version for our operating system, and then click on Download one last time. We extract the zip file and run the installer. Tell Windows to run it anyway. And then give it internet access. Then we click on Setup, which will finally install the tool. This will take a few minutes and should make a sound when it's done. Then we click on Launch. In the AI browser, we go to the Discovery page which lists all the tools that can be installed. Let's install Automatic 11.11, which is called Stable Diffusion Web UI here. We don't make any changes to the name, and here we can select the model that we want to have downloaded during the installation. So we select SDXL. This will now take a while depending on your internet connection, as it's gonna download over 12 gigabytes. Once it's done, we can launch it and open the Web UI where we first select the SDXL base model. And since Stable Diffusion XL consists of two parts, that is the base model and the refiner, we now also need to select the refiner, but to do so, we need to install an extension first, which can be done by going to the extensions tab, where we click on available, and then on load from. Next, we scroll down to the refiner and click on install. It's done once this text disappears, which means we can go back to the Installed tab and restart the web UI. When the interface is back, we see that we have a new option called Refiner, which we need to expand and then select the Refiner model. Don't forget to enable the Refiner and that's it. You can now use SDXL in Automatic 11.11 by entering a prompt and clicking on Generate. If you're already familiar with Automatic 11.11, you're probably missing the status display in the command window, and you can enable a similar view here by clicking on Server. If you use the default settings to install Pinocchio, then you will find all output images in your Windows user folder under Pinocchio, API, SD, Web UI, Pinocchio, Git, Automatic 11.11, Outputs. Here, you'll also find all other folders that you might put stuff in manually, such as the Models folder, for additional checkpoints that you can download. And lastly, should you run into any issues with your specific hardware, sometimes this can be fixed by adding specific launch parameters, which you can do here by clicking on Configure. Alternatively to 11.11, you can also easily install Comfy UI, which seems to be the most popular way to use SDXL at the moment. So we click on Install, click on Download without changing the name, and then click on Install again. Once done, let's open the Web UI. And if you haven't done so already, download the JSON file and then load it in the tool. You're then presented by a complex diagram with lots of nodes and we'll have a closer look in another video. But for now, all you need to do to get started is to select the refiner and the base model in these two nodes. And then you can enter your own prompt, additional terms, and the negative prompt. Here you can adjust the resolution and the batch size and then start generating images by clicking on Q, prompt. And then you can track the progress through the notes visually. 
and you'll find the folders for the generated images and models in this path. If you want to update one of the tools, you need to click on its name and then click on update. If it tells you that an update script is ready, then click on it and then run the script. As a summary, Pinocchio is the easiest way to install AI tools and there's a good selection of the most relevant tools already on there and whenever a new tool comes out, it seems to get added very quickly. On the downside, there's less status info when the tools are running compared to the manually installed versions and the models aren't shared between the tools. So if you install both Comfy and 11.11, then you'll end up downloading the SDXL model and Refiner twice during the installation. However, you can change the path of the models later so you don't have to keep both models stored on your disk. And also for the audio generating tools from Meta, I'm getting errors during the installation which prevents the tools from using my GPU and they only use the CPU instead. This is also the reason why I've been sitting on this video for a while now, waiting to see if it will be fixed. And while it didn't get fixed, they added a new tool called AudioCraft Plus with the same functionality and even some more features which you can install without any issues. And I'll show you that tool in my next video very soon. I really want to thank all of you for allowing me to reach 1000 subs to a small channel like mine. This really means a lot and to show my gratitude I have prepared a PDF file that contains images along with all prompts that I have used in my videos so far. I hope this is going to be useful as a reference book or as an inspiration to some of you. Or you check out my videos or playlists about AI image generation where I'll soon add some tutorials regarding SDXL. If you learned something new in this video, please share, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.